All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another review. Today, we're here on the ground with the Flaming Pencil. This is a British aircraft. It's uh, the Bristol uh, T-188. And uh, it's about, I think it's about $8 if you look here. Um, pretty cool aircraft. I purchased it. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of a review. It's 1.7 gigs on... Um, your computer here and uh, the cost of it was uh, relatively cheap it, it was $7.99 plus tax so um, I thought it'd be fun to look at uh, this aircraft supposedly it, it was designed to get to Mach 0.2 I believe it, it made it to Mach 1.8 1.9 it uh, flew in 1962, and I think it stopped flying in 1964. There's uh, one left in the museum, I believe, in uh, the British. It's a British plane. Uh, I don't know where in Britain. But uh, it does have the two engines on here, which are the uh, DJ, uh, DGJ-10Rs. Uh, these are capable of 10,000 uh, foot-pound of torque and a reheat of 14,000 pounds. Um, so pretty interesting aircraft, really unique. And if we jump inside here, we're going to get it started, take it for a little bit of a test flight today. Um, it says inside there's two different variants it comes with. It's the XF923 and the F, uh, XF923. Nine two six. This is the nine two six. We're currently sitting on the ground here in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, the canopy does open here, so um, we can go ahead and take a look at that. I don't know if you have to unlock. You have to unlock both of these, or maybe you have to unlock both of them. Okay, maybe it doesn't open without power. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Okay, there we go. Now it opened pretty cool indeed it's a really a strange looking aircraft right so let's just take a look at it the flying pencil let's see what the gear looks like under here it has a unique gear that folds up and under when we take off I think the takeoff speed is uh, about 190 um, I think the landing speed we'll, we'll have to figure that out as we go probably roughly about the same or 160 um, the gear now has to come up in this wheel well, so it's a really unique way. The gear actually rotates to get up in the wheel well. Um, it's not badly modeled. I mean, it's pretty decent, especially for, you know, you're only talking an $8 aircraft, right? So um, this is by uh, TJ Sim, okay? Um, I purchased this for 8 bucks. I thought it would be an interesting plane to fly. It also helped in the research of the Concorde. So, pretty fun fact there. A lot of the stuff that was done with this aircraft transferred over to the Concorde. A lot of the research and, and things that, uh, I guess, went wrong or went right, um, they used to model the Concorde. So, that's pretty cool. Let's jump inside. Let's go ahead and uh, close up the canopy, lock it up, and uh, try to get this aircraft start it. Let me see if there's a checklist here. I'll lock the canopy. Uh, does have before start. Okay, brakes are set and checked. Master switch, which um, it doesn't show us where the master switch is. It's um, flight modeling. You have to, these are anti-skid and this one I believe is your IFF, which uh, I think that's another stabilizer. Um, I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments. Uh, you got your fuel um, here and your starter switches on this side here and your master switch is this knob. So uh, let's get the power, which I believe is right here. Master switch, right? There we go. Batteries are coming on. I'll we'll put the fuel pumps on here all these are supposed to be set to black there's your oxygen all right AC power and let's get these on all 
we're gonna put one switch at a time on here. Oops. Oh, I forgot to take the covers off. <laughs> Oops. To take the covers off, what? Let's see, how do we do that? There's um, switches for that as well. We can test these. These are your reheat lights. Oh. So when you start up the engine, I guess it takes it off automatically. Let's go ahead and get the next one. Oops. I don't see any lights with this aircraft. The engine sounds are really nice. You can see a little bit of animation in the back there. I'm gonna put the power in. See the flame coming out of there? Alright, let's see if we can get that next one up here. There we go. Getting engine number one to come up now. be coming up. There it goes. Six percent, seven percent. Here it goes. You hear it kicking in? Pretty good sound. So let's go take it for a flight and see how it handles. Pretty cool aircraft indeed, right? Like, uh, I mean, you know, like, not bad modeling. I mean, for eight bucks, you really can't beat it. We're going to just taxi over here and take off. Pretty cool. So far. Ground handling is not bad, which is always a nice thing, right? Like, you always want to have something that handles pretty good. It's an interesting aircraft for sure. And we're going to test fly it over the ocean here. Uh, we're going to keep around Fort Lauderdale. Um, so we should be able to uh, depart and come back to this area here. Uh, this aircraft uh, so far handles pretty decently. I like the modeling. It's pretty nice modeled. Um, and really, you can't go wrong for an $8 aircraft, you know. it's uh, It should be pretty interesting. You get two different variants of this plane. There's the afterburners are on. I'm not 100% sure how to get the uh, initial... Whoa, it's a little bit shake and bake. Or... We're up. Check out the gear animation here. It sure does look like a flying pencil. We're already at 5,000, 6,000 feet. It's like a spaceship. 
All right, let's uh, let's test that out and see how fast we can go here. I'm gonna nose down, pick up the speed. I'm not sure how to engage the thrust reversers here. Let's see. Okay, we're at uh, Mach 111. Oh, uh, so we're already at Mach speed. So the other variant, I don't believe you can get to Mach speed, but this one look, looks like it's able to, which is fantastic. 12,000 feet. I'm trying to keep it level so we can pick up some speed here. Man, it looks nice though, right? So far, 1.34. We'll test it out, see uh, what altitude, what airspeed. We're doing true ground speed, 854 knots, Mach 136. Climbing out of Fort Lauderdale, 22,000 feet, continuing. So far, so good. 1.4. I don't know if uh, I don't know if altitude will help us or not with this, but we're going to continue to climb. We're starting to slow now. Oh, actually, it says here we're slowing, but down here. We're at Mach 1.4. It's nice though, really nice. Smooth flying, it handles very good. I gotta say overall, I'm pretty impressed. Really for an $8 aircraft, you can't beat it. pull up the map here so we can see where we're at uh, we don't want to go too far out here we're gonna start turning back towards the coast we're at 43,000 44,000 let's see uh, what we can climb this thing up to Forty-five thousand feet Forty-six. I'm just going to turn back towards the coast here to see what uh, airspeed we can get it to. I mean, what altitude, I'm sorry. So we're turning back towards Fort Lauderdale as we're climbing up above 50,000. Pretty good animation. I mean, it's not bad. It's not the worst. Let's see what it looks like in the dark here. I don't think we have any lights, interior lighting. It doesn't look that way anyway, right? I don't see any lighting in here. Cool looking, right? Mach 1.61 as we're gaining altitude here. We're actually going faster. 1.62, 53,000 feet. Let's see what we can get out of this thing. Pretty cool. True airspeed, 912 knots. I'm just going to cruise along the coast. 
almost at 60,000 feet. Let's see what we can do with this thing. It's very, it flies different above altitude. It's a little bit more loose. It's more tight at lower uh, altitude and lower airspeed. 1.61, almost at 60,000 feet. Not bad so far. Let's try it one more. Okay, 60. Let me check uh, where we're headed to here. Okay, we're headed back towards the coast. And I'm gonna put a little bit more daylight back in here. What we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna see how high we can climb now. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pull back on the yoke here and climb as high as we possibly can with it now. Let's see what we can do. Sixty-two thousand. I'm just gonna pull all the way back, bleed as much airspeed off, see how fast and how high we can go, and then we're gonna descend, try landing this thing, and see how that goes. So now we're pretty much gonna just burn out uh, whatever we can of the airspeed and climb as high as we possibly can. So far we're still at Mach 1.2 and we're climbing at 21,000 feet per minute, which is insanely fast, 70,000. We're still doing a true ground speed of a 742 miles an hour, which is, or well, um, really fast. Really, really cool. Wow, this thing is uh, pretty amazing, actually. I didn't think it was capable of doing this. I tried the um, X, uh, the other model of this aircraft, which is the XF923, the other day, and I couldn't even get it over Mach 1. So there's 78,400 feet. There's no information of how ha fast, how high this can go in their marketplace for the actual aircraft so we're testing it here so far 78,000 feet I'm at doing uh, 668 knots uh, Mach 1.2 and uh, we're descending now so let's nose down here Another cool feature about this is the air brakes. Check out the air brakes in the back here. Look at this, ready? Very, very unique air brakes. Super effective. I've never seen air brakes that come out the side of an aircraft like that. All right, we're gonna start our descent. And let's see what kind of speed we can get out of this. Just gonna check out where we're at here on the map. I believe that's us there. So we're gonna head a little bit further south to find a runway. We're almost up at Palm Beach. This thing's really nice. Alright, let's see what we can do. We're gonna try to see how fast we can go now. It's pretty amazing too, right? You got wood in this aircraft, wooden handles here. I mean, it's very British. 
right? This big knob. What, I'm not sure what that thing does, to be honest. Or this. I'm not sure what these are, to be honest with you. Um, oh, yeah. Starter switch here, which we can turn off to. I think there is a reheat. Um, I don't know if there's something I'm missing with that or not, though. Seven. I just want to see how fast we can go. One point six. We're doing a true airspeed of one thousand eighty-eight. I'm going into the red now. It's starting to flame out on me. It's slowing down. Oh, that, uh, clouds are icing out. The clouds iced out the engines. I didn't know that. That's crazy, right? Okay, so we kept getting flamed out through the uh, icing there, which is pretty interesting to see. Give us a little bit of a better idea. There's the runway there. We're going to be landing back there. Pretty cool aircraft indeed. Um, I like it. I got to say, like, overall, my opinion, it flies good. It handles good. It's fun. Uh, it's a good testing aircraft. You could probably get it even higher if you want to take your time and see what it can max out at at a slower climb rate. Totally up to you if that's uh, something you're interested in. But um, I didn't. I bought this with my own money. I thought I'd review it today, check it out. I like it. I like it. I think it's uh, definitely worth the money if you're into this type of aircraft. This is uh, one of those old school museum ones that you may never get to fly, um, but in simulator you can so that's always a cool thing in my opinion and I love it so far so good we're gonna turn back around here and uh, we'll try to attempt to land this thing without messing it up it's got to be pretty impressive to see something like this flying over your house right if you saw this you would probably be like what is this flying uh, it's this is a uh, you know something that you probably never seen I don't know if you would ever see this over the United States skies but back in the day in uh, 1962 imagine seeing this thing fly over your house at mock speeds well or at least landing speeds mock speeds say would probably uh, break your windows well, we got some more reviews coming up this week too, so stay tuned for that if you're interested in aviation or you're aviation enthusiasts like myself. This may be the channel for you. Come join us on live streams as well, and uh, if, if you're into aviation, it's a good, good place to hang out. We have a lot of people. We're part of the Bunker Squadron as well um, with Pilot83. His channel uh, is great too if you need any more information he just made one about the new Airbus A350 coming out alright let's get the gear down here this thing is pretty cool man for an airplane that's for sure I'm gonna put the those in it does have flaps uh, flaps are two settings we got one notch and two they're on the in inside of there I have both notches down here as we're attempting to land we're going a little fast for landing so let me uh, put the air brake back out to slow us you want to land about um, 
190 to 160. Probably closer to 160 with this thing. I don't think you want to go too slow either. It's definitely not an easy one to land with the view. You know? Ooh, boy. Let it settle. There we go. Oh, hopefully we stop. It's touchy on the on the pedals, so you want to keep it, uh, you know, as even as even as you can there. All right, release the brakes. We're gonna just uh, vacate the runway to the left here and uh, wrap this video up. But overall, I would say for eight dollars, this is a steal of an aircraft. Really cool, really unique. Something uh, I enjoy for sure. And uh, yeah. If you guys uh, bought this aircraft already, uh, it's been out for a little while, or if you, it's something you guys are into, leave me a comment and let me know what you think about it. Is it worth it? You think, is it ugly? Is it nice? Uh, the Flying Pencil, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, T-188 by um, TJ, or uh, T, yeah, TJ, or TG, I mean, Sim. TG Sim, sorry about that. All right. Some people uh, say I can't pronounce anything in my videos, some of my fun comments. But uh, yeah, that is uh, always something that I'm working on to improve with. And um, you know what? It's better to try and to do and fail than it is not to try at all, right? So here we are. Let's go ahead and shut it down. Let me uh, actually get away from all these planes. All right, well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this aircraft is pretty cool. I like it. I like it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, let's shut down the engines here. That's pretty fun. Pretty fun. Pretty cool aircraft. Definitely, definitely an interesting one indeed, right? I recommend it. Really cool aircraft. Uh, if you guys are interested, go check it out. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please smash the thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye now.